all those fans going into Levi's Stadium. It did yeah. look a little hazy behind yeah. Jocelyn. So uh, the big question is that going to impact the game today? It won't impact the game. Um, if, I would say if, you know, this is going to be a big audience there. People mm -hmm. are going to make the choices that they deem is within their level of comfort. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's not like this is a significant health risk to be out there. Mm -hmm. You'd be hearing more about it. But I'd say if you're somebody who's been wheezing a lot lately, yeah. Maybe watch the game at home. Hmm. But I think most people will probably be fine. The good news is it, we're looking at moderate air quality now. Better than the unhealthy stuff we were looking at yesterday. All right, let's talk about the temperatures just for a moment. I know we got a lot of other things on our mind right now, but look what we did for daytime highs today. Nobody got out of the 70s. Everybody was below average. Some places a lot more than others. Uh, so if you take a look at that number on there for Santa Rosa at 73 degrees today, that's 11 degrees below average. And Santa Rosa has the most interesting forecast of uh, any of the other microclimates. And the entire North Bay does. It's not just Santa Rosa, Marin, Sonoma, Napa counties. You guys have a chance of rain coming on Monday. Small, but it's the first one of the season. We're going to look at that in this visit. But before I get too far ahead of myself, air quality is top of mind. Air quality is the reason why this is still a first alert day. And at this point, tomorrow is going to be one as well, because we've already been exposed to enough smoke over the last few days. Even though the air quality is going to get a little better tomorrow, as we mentioned earlier in the newscast, there's still an air quality alert for tomorrow. And this is cumulative. So still think about the next few days of going easy on your lungs. And look at the good news. By the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, it will be better. OK, let's talk about this chance of rain. Uh, first one of fall. Fall, by the way, officially starts late tomorrow night. And then on Monday, the first system coming out of the Pacific is going to try and make it feel like it. We look at the big picture. That one falls apart. Look at the one behind it. And watch the way this thing comes together. Oh, that looks pretty impressive. It's got the comma shape to it. It's got all the ingredients. If you want to be technical about it, we're not going to overdo this notion. But there is actually a moderate component of an atmospheric river in this. We're not, we're not going to inundate you with that just yet. This is not a major storm. It's not going to be a big rainmaker. But it is interesting to note that this storm, this early in the season, is already pulling in some characteristics of it that the Scripps Institute has already said. Hey, this is a moderate atmospheric river to it. That's a bigger issue up north, where this storm will deliver much more rain. But for us, we're just on the southern tail end of it. And here's what's interesting. It's just the first one. This is the only one that looks like it's going to get far enough south to get us. But I just wanted you to see what happens from now all the way through the end of the month. There's a series of them coming into the Pacific Northwest. This is great news from a fire season standpoint, if nothing else. More on that over the next couple of days and coming weeks, hopefully. But let's talk about the possibility for rain from this first one. Here it comes. It looks really good out there. There's your atmospheric river going up into like the Redwood Coast up through Eureka. And our little branch of it looks like that. That's not much. But it is a chance for some rain nonetheless. That next one falls apart, doesn't even get here. So let me just show you what the rainfall totals could look like on Monday when we take a look at Northern California as a whole. That's two and a quarter <laughs> inches for Eureka. That's pretty good. And think about this. The smoke that's coming our way from that Smith River complex is right in the middle of that red bullseye. That's really the important aspect of this. From the bigger picture standpoint, it starts to really put the kibosh on fire season. It doesn't end it. But it, what, what mild of a fire season it's been, this rain event is going to work in our favor from a smoke concern. Look at the totals. Maybe Santa Rosa comes away with 15 hundredths of an inch of rain out of this. That'd be, you know, on the high side. Those are tomorrow's daytime highs. No change. The, day, the temperatures are going to get cooler in the North Bay from this. You can see that on Monday. Uh, it, uh, when we look at San Francisco and Oakland, there's a, you get a chance of rain, but it'd be like less than a tenth of an inch of rain if we see anything south of the Golden Gate. San Jose, we didn't even put rain in the forecast for you. And when we look at those inland East Bay communities, you got a chance to rain short technically. It's the it's the staying relatively cool that really stands out about this.